Well, milder air will be moving back in for the weekend after these couple of cool days. And while well, the atmosphere was literally stagnant this week, things are picking up again next week. The jet stream becomes more active and we have two storm systems to keep our eye on. So there was quite the divide in low temperatures early this morning. Clouds hung on stubbornly in eastern Minnesota, so teens in the Twin Cities, uh, in fact, close to 20 much of the night, but look at the sub-zero pockets. This is literally where a break in the clouds developed. Temperatures really dipped, even nine below in Wadena, uh, and they saw some frozen fog develop, and you can see where those clear breaks still are. I think we will see a breakup of the cloud cover, so look for some peaks of sun, but more clouds than uh, sunshine today and certainly looking a little cloudier than what we were hoping for uh, yesterday. But tomorrow should be a little brighter for one day before clouds roll back in, but also warmer temperatures. Uh, above freezing tomorrow, upper 30s to near 40, both Sunday and Monday. So these are high temperatures Monday, 39, 40 in the Twin Cities, maybe to the southeast too, and that's gonna play into the next system. Uh, precipitation on Monday probably will fall in the form of rain, turning into some snow. Uh, Monday night. We'll take a look at that here in a second. But also, all the while, above normal temperatures persist into next week. The normal highs, about 23, will continue to be above it. Uh, yesterday and today is actually right about where we should be. Uh, and the 6 to 10 day precipitation outlook from uh, the Climate Prediction Center really reflects what's going on next week. Strong chances of above normal precip coming out of the Rockies into southeastern Minnesota, Illinois, Indiana. Uh, and here's the reason. So the jet stream has really been uh, roaring to the west. All the energy focused on the west coast. Of course, they've had massive storms and they're getting another one this weekend, which we'll also talk about in a second, but pretty quiet here in the central and eastern U.S. That's changing heading into the weekend and next week. So watch what the jet stream does this weekend into next week. So this is the jet fueling that Monday storm, which mostly will be concentrated to our southeast, the heaviest precip. Same thing on Thursday. Looks like another mostly just to the southeast concentration precipitation. This could shift but it is getting more active. So here's midday Monday, rain showers moving into Southern Minnesota, maybe a little bit of snow uh, on the Northern edges. And then Monday night, we're gonna see this narrow swath of snow develop across central Minnesota. That could dump a couple few inches of snow, very narrow area. Right now, the most aggressive model is the European model, uh, three, four inches even in that narrow swath. But the other models, not as excited, but either way, we probably will see some snowfall accumulation Monday night into early Tuesday as it'll be just cold enough then. But then we'll be watching this Thursday storm, which most of the models agree on a more southeast track, but it could clip southeast from Minnesota. And I don't think the Twin Cities is totally out of the woods with this Thursday storm. It's still six days away. The track has changed in the last couple days and could very well again, but it does look as though the heaviest snowfall, and this does look to be a potential significant snow for some areas, does look to be mainly a southeastern Minnesota into maybe Wisconsin, Quad Cities, maybe even Chicago. But again, that could shift. And then poor California, another atmospheric river, big plume of moisture, and this extends all the way to Hawaii. So that's what these are, these tropical plumes of moisture that get fed up into the West Coast as cooler air moves in from the North Pacific, really kind of just plowing that moisture out ahead of it. So we're talking several inches of rain for some spots, again, in Northern California, a little less to the South, but even like Los Angeles, an inch or two of rain is possible. And then of course, very heavy snow here in the Sierra Nevada, which that's good. That helps to fill up the reservoirs, but all the liquid water, they don't have a lot of places to put it. And that's kind of a big thing is if they could somehow trap and store that for when they'll need it, inevitably again, it would be a lot better. So about 22 today, pretty chilly, but light winds. And again, actually close to normal. So it's not really that cold. Tomorrow, already jumping back up above freezing. Again, close to 40 Sunday, Monday. That means rain showers changing to snow. Monday night, lingering snow showers Tuesday morning, but still fairly mild. You can see it'll be a little cooler late next week, but uh, still mild, but cold enough where what we see Thursday will be in the form of snow somewhere. Again, and it could be a significant snow somewhere. Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, we'll be watching that. 